What's up guys, it's X Morgan from My Spiritual Life and today we're talking about judgment. Specifically judgment from family and how fun that is. Cause it's just so fun. So I have a family reunion coming up soon and it's not just like my immediate family cause I, I'm doing much better in the relationships with my like siblings and parents and such and anyway, but uh, extended family as well. I'm, I'm having a hard time with it because I haven't seen a lot of my extended family since they found out I was ex-Mormon by finding my ex-Mormon YouTube channel. Note for future reference, family doesn't like to find out that and I don't blame them. That was that was awful for everyone involved. <laughs> it was awful for me. It was awful for them. It was it was awkward. It was very uncomfortable. So, moral of the story is I am super freaking out about this family reunion because I don't even know what I'm gonna do or how I'm gonna act around them. And it's just it's really hard when you feel like you know what they're thinking about you and then it's like, okay, well, I don't really know. But what I know is what I thought about people when they left the church and I can't help but think they have to be thinking that about me, right? They have to be as terrible as I was. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I have a lot of sympathy for the family members who have really been upset with me over my YouTube channel for really obvious reasons, like I was Mormon. So I know how hurtful it is to them to do something like this. And I just wish so bad they could understand that like I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm not, I'm not even trying to tear the church down. Like I'm just trying to uplift and support people who feel like they don't belong there anymore. I'm not necessarily one of those ex-Mormons that like prides myself in cracking shelves or whatever. Like I know some people are like, yeah, crack them, ch -ch -ch, whatever. <laughs> um, that's not how I feel about it. I very much like doing this channel because I want people who are going through a faith crisis to not feel so alone in it and to not feel so crazy. Anyway, but it's like my, of course my family doesn't understand that. And I don't blame them because one of the worst things you can do is leave the church. And you know what's worse than that is letting other people know that they can leave too. That is the worst of the worst. And I am doing that hardcore, I guess. <laughs> There's a certain family member that I want to tell you guys a story about. And again, there's always two sides of the story. So I don't want anyone to like talk bad about this person, but this is my hurt around how this went down. I grew up in St. Louis and none of our extended family lived near us. Like my dad's family lived in Tennessee and my mom's family lived in Utah and other places. But moral of the story was we pretty much had our own little thing going on, kind of had my own like adopted aunts. It was great. But I just, I didn't grow up with my extended family very much. And we didn't visit like a ton. So anyway, fast forward, um, when I was having some, some doubts about the church, um, a certain family member found out that Jared had stopped going to church. And she proceeded to take me aside at a family reunion and basically lecture me about how he's gonna drag me away and how this, which I guess she was right. But anyway, she proceeded to basically just kind of really crap on the situation, like that I wouldn't be able to get to heaven because he wasn't going to church and that I needed to be a really good person and make sure that I'm always going and that it was so important and da da da. And it just, it felt like I was getting talked down to. And it really, really made me angry. And especially because this family member had never really been close with me ever, had never really cared what was going in on my life ever and had never really tried at all to have any kind of relationship with me. But then she finds out that my husband's not going to church and she feels the need to step in and tell me what to do with my life and act like she cared about me 
when really she only cared if I was going to church. And this, oh, this wrecked me. Like I was so hurt by this because I was like, I tried to just brush it off. But in my, but in my mind, what I was saying was, you've never cared about me. You've never cared to look in and see what's going on in my life or ask how I'm doing or, or anything like that. And now, because you're worried that I'm not going to go to church, you feel it's appropriate to step in and act like you care? No. I was just like, heck no. Like, this is bull crap. I was really, really upset at the time because I was heavily doubting or at least partly doubting, and I just felt angry that it felt like the only consideration that this person in my family had for me was whether or not I went to church. And it's so hard to feel like you can have a sincere connection with someone when you feel like they are only going to care about you based on your beliefs or your behaviors or whatever. It just hurts. It hurts really bad. Hence why I am not super excited about this family reunion coming up. Now, I know this family member was doing the best that she could. Like, she was obviously worried about me and she has a lot of fear around people leaving and everything. And so, like, I totally have compassion for, like, why she was doing and saying what she did. But I just couldn't help but really feel hurt by it. I'm nervous about the family reunion coming up for a few reasons. Partly because of interactions like that. And partly because I've heard, you know... Other people saying stuff to me that other people have said about this and that, about me, about my YouTube channel, about all this stuff. And I'm just like, how do I confront these people? Like, how do I look at them in their face and be like, what's up? (laughs) Like, when I know how they view me or how they think about me, it's just hard. And I I was talking to my mom about it, actually, because I told my mom, I was like, honestly... Uh, like, and this was a cool connecting moment. I said, Mom, I am not feeling so good about this family reunion thing coming up. Like, I just don't know what I'm going to do or how to act around these people because I, I know I know how they feel about me. Like, I know what they think about what I'm doing and stuff. And I don't, I mean, I don't blame them, but I don't know how to handle this. And my mom was like, well, on the bright side... I really don't think anyone is going to be mean to your face. (laughs) I was like, oh, relief. (laughs) Just kidding. It's just kind of funny. Like, but that's just a very um, high demand religion, kind of passive aggressive type of thing of like, oh, yeah, people are just going to talk bad about you behind your back. So it's fine. You shouldn't worry about it. (laughs) And but but in a way, really, what my mom said made me feel better. And because I was like, you know what? They're going to think things about me. They're going to go and say things about me. They're going to go say maybe some awful things about me. I have no idea. But ultimately, I don't have to let that hurt me. I was actually just talking to a client about this the other day because she was dealing with certain judgments from extended family members. It wasn't even Mormon related, but... She was talking about, like, they're judging me for this and this and whatever, and I'm just trying trying to do my best, like, and I wish they could see that. And I'm like, girl, I feel you. I feel you because I, I really do feel like I'm trying to do my best. I feel like I'm trying so hard to be a good person. And I think that's why it hurts so bad when other people on the outside don't see us as good people or, like, we're doing something so bad. But what I told that client and what I keep telling myself about this is, Let them think you're terrible. (laughs) Just give them full permission to judge you 100% and let them do it. Because here's the thing, they're going to judge you no matter what, right? But if you stop trying to control how they're perceiving you, you're going to feel so much better. Because ultimately you're going to say, hey, here I am, judge away. And if you can come from that kind of attitude, then you stop trying to be something for them just to get their approval that you're probably not going to get anyway. You just let it go, you know? So I was trying to apply this to the family reunion and I was thinking 
Like, you know what? I want to walk into that family reunion and just be myself and be happy and be happy to see people that I haven't seen for a long time. And I want to be able to stand there in front of them and in my mind say, you know what? Judge away if that's what you need to do. I like me. I feel good about what I'm doing. So you could think I'm a murderer for all I care. You could think I'm a heroin addict. You could think I'm the worst person in the world for having a YouTube channel where I talk about my faith crisis. And guess what? I'm okay with that because I know I deserve better. So I'm not gonna let this bother me. Okay, I'm gonna let it bother for like a second. And then I'm gonna move on because I don't need that. And neither do you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Navigating leaving a high demand religion can be so confusing and crazy and difficult. And I am so glad that we don't have to do it alone. Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you all of the Patreon supporters that support my channel. It means so much to us. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.